My name is Luis Carvalho. I am a journalist and a filmmaker. I am Spanish, but for the last 22 years I have been living in France, in the city of Lyon. This pandemic has completely transfigured the city, like never before. Empty streets, business closed, people in fear. It was very, it was very shocking to see the city this way. In my lifetime, I have never seen something like this. During the last months, I have spent most of my time talking about how others cope with the virus, until one day, it was my turn. Some days ago, I decided to take a blood test to detect any trace of the COVID-19 on my system. I didn't have any symptoms, but as I kept on working during the lockdown, I wanted to know if I had been infected, for me, for my family, and for the others too. The results of the serology test showed a recent infection, but the test did not establish if the virus was still there or if I got over it. So I took a second test, a PCR one, five days later. Well, here I am. I'm on the way to the, to the lab to get tested for the second time. So this is where I'm going to take the, the second test. This one, this particular test is free. It's paid by the state, by the government. Do you see those marks on the, on the seats? This is to keep the social distance. They are everywhere now. The first test is not free. It's, uh, the blood one is uh, 45 euros, equivalent to $50 roughly, uh, which is a little bit weird since it will allow to know the degree of uh, global or collective immunity in the, in the French uh, population. To get this test, the PCR, you need the prescription from your doctor. Here it is. Voilà. Bon. Ça va? Oui. C'est fini. C'est fini. Bon. That's a hard a lot, but it's not super, super nice. <laughs> In 24 hours, uh, we know the result and we will see. The results of the second test, the PCR, have just arrived. I hope uh, for the best. Let's have a look. Oh! Negative. Wow. Wonderful. I have been lucky considering how violent this virus is shaking the planet with more than 300,000 dead and millions infected. Am I immune now? Well, my doctor has not been able to give me a conclusive answer. So I will keep on being alert and taking precautions. And I will go on working. As a journalist, I think it's my duty to tell this story. I hope that this pandemic at least will make us all think about what's important in life and what's not.